And then uh, we're getting some down the road. Are you enjoying the show? If not, please go to your cabin and clean your cabin for the blue rocks. Because you're wasting your time, my friend. I'll tell you a small incident. This was soon after the embarkation. A couple, they went around with their camera taking pictures of everything. You are not the comedian, I'm the comedian. Shut up. <laughs> we understand, ladies and gentlemen, we always have an odd one here. <laughs> this couple, they went around taking pictures of everything. First, they took a picture of Eric from the reception. Then they took pictures of the florist, Jason. Everywhere, pillars, carpets, everything. So one of these fellow passengers asked them, is it your first cruise? The, the lady replied, no, it's a first digital camera. <laughs> this evening there was an incident in the restroom. One of the passengers uh, asked for a steak. And Elias, my friend, the waiter, served it. <laughs> the passenger found it very tough. So he called, Elias, can you help me? Elias said, yes, so what can I do for you? He said, this steak is very tough. Can you do something about it? Elias said, sir, give me one minute. I'll be back in two minutes. <laughs> He ran like a headless chicken. <laughs> he came back in five minutes and uh, said, Sir, I can't do much about it. The cow was too old. <laughs> the passenger was really, really upset. He said, Can I have the manager right now, please? <laughs> Ilya said, Sorry, sir. She's not on the menu today. In the night, you walk down on deck to elevator. You find barbers everywhere. <laughs> They're really giving a good competition for the southern stuff. If you go to a barber shop, you find a barber, barber's chair going around. But here's one barber, my friend Remy. He goes around the chair. Other day he put a notice saying, bring two, one free. So I took my two friends, Edwin from the bars and Lino. Edwin got a free haircut because he hardly has any hair on his head. Lino got a free massage, I don't know how he got it. He's still carrying his back like this. Other day the crew mess man, he put up a notice, sorry, the complaint said that the coffee machine is not working. The engineers were very prompt. They came with their tool bags, opened the coffee machine, they could not find the fault. Next thing, they opened their service manual. They went, there's the red wire, green wire, shit, that's the pipe, shit. It's an Italian made man, cheap one but they never realized the main switch was off. <laughs> if you see a priest walking down the street, what do you will call him? Father. A father, right? Father. If you see a bishop, what do you call him? Your grace, right? But if you see a gorgeous looking man, it's oh my God. But if you're going to impress a woman, what are you going to do? Now you're sitting with a woman. Can you tell me? What else? Sex. 
You are too fast, man. Well, you're going to impress a woman. You're going to cook for her. You're going to make love. You're going to love her. You're going to flatter her. But to impress a man, can the ladies tell me? Can you tell? I'll tell you, darling. Just buy him a beer and get naked. Martin was drinking in the crew bar by the counter. So Joseph, the crew bartender, asked him, Martin, why is it that you always close your eyes when you're drinking beer? The doctor's orders. So Joseph asked him, what, is, what do you mean by doctor's orders? Doctor told me never to look at the pint again. <laughs> After the crew disco one night, one of the guys was totally pissed off. Holding the railing on in the elevator and standing like this. Security officer John. <laughs> Mate, it's time for you to go to cabin. You have been standing for ages, he said. <laughs> the drunk said, Sir, I think the I've heard that world goes around in 24 hours. So I'm waiting for my cabin to appear. <laughs> It won't be long, sir. I can see my next door cabin mate standing also there. <laughs> Other day, piano came to me and said, Jason, I think my cabin mate is gay. I was a bit shocked. I asked him, how can you tell them? He closed his eyes when I kiss him goodnight, he said. This is one of these old guys, passengers I'm talking about. He was lying down in his cabin watching television. In walked the Filipino cabin stewards. She said, Sorry, sir. I think I'm in the wrong cabin. <laughs> this poor old man said, No, no, darling. You're in the right cabin. You're only 40 years late. Ladies and gentlemen, from the restaurant. Take a bow, Jason. The time's up, mate. You're a very funny guy. Go on, take one more bow, mate. Go on, come in. There you go. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eric, your front of house manager. Attention, ship's company, and all on board. With the following crew member, call reception immediately by dialing 5000 from the nearest telephone. And Miss Deborah Fast of cabin DX35. Would Miss Deborah Fast contact reception by using the nearest ship's telephone? Thank you. Thank you. 